Okay, so a very interesting um, digital situation. Um, so I credit Jordan Peterson, Michaela Peterson, Joe Rogan with introducing me to the carnival diet. Um, it was Jordan Peterson on Joe Rogan's podcast spoke about eating just meat. And I was like, what? Um, at that stage, I was eating tuna and salads, um, not even veggies, just tuna and salads. I'd already given up most of the carbs and starches, and I'd already given up the sugars. Um, yeah, so I was mostly eating salads, raw salads, a lot. Uh, tuna salads, a lot. And I was just getting bigger and bigger. Anyway, so then just meat, and I was like, Ugh, but I don't eat meat anymore. So I did, the only meat I was eating, the only animal was the tuna. So I then went and checked, he spoke about his daughter Michaela needing to, because of the arthritis, needing to go, um, uh, she did this elimination diet. So I went and f checked on Michaela, searched for Michaela Peterson, found her, um, uh, what is it, TED Talk video that TED Talk didn't post on TED Talk, but she, it was there. So I found that on YouTube and I credited her with um, setting me off and, and helping me with that. So that's the four of them. And then I searched uh, on YouTube for the for Carnival. And then I came across the, the Dr. Berries, the Anthony Chafee's Dr. Anthony Chafee, Sean, Dr. Sean Baker. And then that other guy that's now eating fruit and honey. Um, forgotten his name. But anyway, Paul Saladino, Dr. Paul Saladino. Is a doctor? I don't know. Anyway, and then I found semi-retired Bob. I really enjoy him. And then I found Dave. I don't know what he's zero carb life and then all those other influences but why i'm going off on a long talk about jordan peterson he is number one well joe rogan jordan peterson um that set me off on the carnival so even though i should actually say joe rogan because i was watching uh, the the feed sent me joe rogan's because my daughter was often sending me things about joe rogan so Actually, I should credit my daughter for me finding the carnivore, but it, it goes further back than that. I was so desperate with this weight gain that I just couldn't control, and I was getting bigger and bigger. Somebody took a video of me riding a horse from behind, and I had this huge bottom hanging over the saddle, and I said to myself, unless you lose the weight, you have to stop horse riding, because it, I'm a horse riding coach, and I look like that. Gracious me. Gracious, gracious me. It's just an interesting thing. Um, I'm having uh, saliva drip out the corners of my mouth, and I haven't had that for ages, and I'll tell you exactly what's happened, what causing the saliva. I ate sweetened yogurt, sweetened flavored yogurt yesterday, quite a lot. And since then, I've got this uh, saliva um, wanting to flow out the corners of my mouth. It's just terrible talking because you want to... You want to keep stopping it. Um, let's do it with a bit of tissue. Um, you want to keep stopping the saliva from growing. So um, I ate the sweetened yogurt. Uh, I, I am struggling this winter. I'm struggling. I'm having desires for something. So I, I do still occasionally do unsweetened yogurt. But if if I go to the, the one soup, the one cafe, um, they don't have um, unsweetened. So I just bought sweetened ate it yesterday for lunch. Look what happens. Um, now it's going to take two weeks before this effect goes away. Anyway, I've got to go further back than my daughter that put me on to Joe Rogan, who put me on to Jordan Peterson, put me on to Michaela Peterson, and on to all the others. Um, when, I, when this video was taken, so I actually then prayed. <laughs> I prayed and prayed. Please, Lord, give me an answer to how to lose this weight because I am, I'm just achy. I have all these joint pains. I can't exercise. And my sciatic is flaring up really badly. My eyesight is really crummy. Um, what is going on? And then um, I do do some energy work with the horses, energy healing. Um, breathing, uh, moving therapy with the horses, and even my body work was getting harder and harder to do. 
Uh, my balance on the horses was real crappy. I couldn't get on and off because my joints were so stiff. My knee ached. Um, I couldn't easily get on. I say, it was good training because the horses had to learn to stand still to let me get on. Um, and then I even anointed my shower head because apparently if you anoint your shower head <laughs> and you pray for energy to come through, you could lose weight while just showering. Like really, I tried the cold showers. Oh, and nothing brought the weight down. It was just inching up and inching up and inching up. Um, so really, it goes further back. The one that's put me on the carnivore diet is, I would say, um, the one that's responsible for my weight loss is ultimately God. <laughs> because it was in the prayer that then the journey started unfolding. And um, look, I didn't fully not do um, carbs and things. I mean, the the... Two days before I went carnival, it was my son's birthday, and I bought a cake, ice cream, um, and KFC chicken. Now, the KFC chicken's got all the spices and the batter and all of that. And I feasted on that cake for two days. I took the cake and ice cream home, and I ate it for breakfast, lunch, and supper. And then the, the Sunday, I ate it for breakfast, and I just said, actually, that's it. And I went carnival. Couldn't eat meat. I had an aversion to meat. So what I ended up having to do to get, uh, gosh, that's, <laughs> don't eat sweetened yogurt, Wendy. Um, I had a meat aversion. So the only way I could do carnival, and I did it for the first four months of my two years and three months of carnival. My first four months, I ate um, ground beef, minced meat, minced beef, um, in a stew format. And I ate it in a mug. Um, and I ate biltong. Um, I bought fatty biltong and then I couldn't eat the fat on the biltong. So I would put it in the microwave and cook the fat until it was fatty. And then I, then I started really enjoying the fat. But yes, I ate biltong and, um, and, and beef, minced beef. I didn't eat any. I stopped eating tuna. I tried it. I didn't like it. So I stopped the tuna, continued with milk and butter. Um insult but yes uh, the, the giving the credit to jordan peterson is at some point i i credit jordan peterson definitely down to sugar again wendy um so um but actually ultimately let's just say i credit my journey to god but <laughs> the point of this video <laughs> Is Candace, what's her surname? Candace. Huh. Anyway, she has gone off at the deep end, said there's something wrong with Jordan Peterson. Is he losing it and all of that? And I was kind of offended because I, I will ne never put people into a category of never failing. Because Candace Owens, I don't know, Candace. Candace, I like listening to Candace a lot, but I don't know what's wrong with her. She's just. She seems to be angry, angry, and angry at the people that have helped me over the last two and a half, two years. Um, and prior to that, you know, uh, Jordan Peterson, not even just the carnival, but, but when I was, you know, he, he's talking on 12 rules of life. Yes, he's just condensed it out of the Bible because it's wisdoms from the Bible, but he's condensed it and into a doable, into something doable. Um Gosh, I've really listened to a lot of, even, I can't think of their names now, a lot of these encouragers, um, the, you know, a lot of encouragers. So it's not just him, but when Candace was gunning him the way she was. So I I don't comment much, but since I've become a carnivore, I seem to be bolder and bolder in myself. And one of the things that really set home with me from what Jordan said, if you've got something to say, say it. Because there's bigger consequences to not saying it. And then he quotes Jonah. He tells the story of Jonah who um, didn't speak the words that God wanted him to speak. So then he went into the belly of the whale. Bum, 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 bum. So I'm speaking out more be than before. And I'm, I'm crediting it to the carnival. I'm crediting to the carnival health and youthfulness and um, healing humanity -ness. Oh, and there's that other influencer. 
Anyway, everybody comes across them at some point if you become vulnerable. So this is just a long credit giving um, to all the folk that have actually helped me. Ferigna Freedom, um, Healing Humanity, I forget what his name is now. Kerry, Kerry something. Yeah. So, um, and then I just said that Candace is angry and attacking my, the people that have been part of saving my life. My life has been saved by Carnival. Yes, indeed. Um, I've started boxing. Uh, you know, there's, I uh, cannot mention how different my life is now to what it was like four years ago, three years ago, two and a half years ago. Um, I didn't lose weight fast. And I actually, I've incorporated now in the winter because I'm really struggling with the winter cold and that. I've incorporated um, cocoa and milk and cheese. And guess what? I have gained two kilograms. And I'm pudgy. I, my tummy's gone a little pudgy. Um, I'm going to, I've upped my skipping. I've, um, and I'm doing the boxing. And I'm doing burpees now as well. Skipping, burpees, sprinting. And I'm riding a lot more. With more, um, I'm not just on the horse anymore. I'm actually working hard while I ride. And I've also started um, horses. Yeah, so I should, I don't under, so obviously my body puts weight on very quickly. And the carbs from the cheese is obviously a no-no. So, um, but let's see. It's stabilized at two, two, 62 now. I was weighing 59. It's stabilized at 62 with all my winter clothes on because I, I don't, <laughs> the 59 was like, woo, with nothing on. Um, the, the, I was 60 with all my winter clothes on. I haven't weighing with my boots. <laughs> my boots on. I'm, I can minus the phone. The fi phone is 400 grams. The boots, I think, is 200 grams. Or was it 400 grams as well? The jacket is 100 grams. The double double longs and the extra extra shirts, the layers are probably... So I'm probably 61, which would give me a 2 kg increase in weight. Um, but yes... Ra 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 for all the people that have been used by God to make my life new.